This man put the Eagles back together. <laughs> what what was that experience like when you you had the desire in your soul to sing one of their most iconic songs? What transpired to put them back together? First of all, I don't take any credit. But he should. <laughs> I don't take any credit for bringing the Eagles back together because the way that all came down, um, they wanted to produce a record out of Nashville with all these different country artists. It's called Common Thread. Oh, yeah. Songs of the Eagles. And um, they wanted to have all these country music artists. This is back in the 90s. They wanted to have all these different country music artists singing Eagles songs. And I was one of the last people that was invited to be a part of that album. Um, I remember when when they called me and asked me about doing it, I said, well, yeah, you know. And they said, well, what song do you want to do? Well, I'd like to do Desperado. Uh, no, Clint Black's already got that one. Yeah. All right, I'd like to do this one, or I'd like to do that one. No, this one's already got, somebody's, all the songs that I wanted to do were spoken for. So after a while, I just kind of said, well, what's left? And my attorney, in Nashville, said, why don't you do Take It Easy? And he said, that was their first number one, so why don't you do that? I said, okay, well, yeah, sure. So I went in and did the song, and a few weeks later, they sent me an advanced copy of the album, and I just sat and listened to it and thought it was just fabulous. Everybody, Everybody's performances were just, I thought, off the charts. And then I got the surprise phone call from Irving Azoff's office. Um, they said, we want yours to be the first single off this album. And we, to promote it, we want to do a video. What concept would you like to do for the video? And I'm on the phone call, and I'm shocked and honored by this offer. But at the same time, I have no idea what to do for a video. All I know is, if you're going to do, have a video, it's got to be something pretty darn special, right? So... Off the top of my head, without even thinking about it, I said, hell, I don't know. Let's get the Eagles back together. And it was dead silent on the <laughs> other end of the phone. And I had really no idea about all of the turmoil that had gone on inside the band um, between all certain different members. Um, and I had no idea about the comments that were made about when do you think the Eagles are going to get back together and I think it was Don Henley said when hell freezes over. Yep. So I had no concept of any of that. Ignorance is bliss. It is. <laughs> God bless it. I know. So, I got a lot of it. <laughs> so I, I, I made that comment and a few days later we got a call from uh, Irving's office and he said, look, I'm going to leave this up to you. If you can get Don Henley or Glenn Fry both to agree to do this project, but you're going to have to call them and you're going to have to ask them. So we got on the phone and we called Glenn Fry first. And Glenn said, to my surprise, he said, you know, I would be open to that. He said, because this is not about the Eagles, really. This is about the great performances that you guys did and all of you guys in country music did as sort of a tribute to the music that we did. So he said, if Don will do it, I'll do it. So then we called Don Henley and I didn't tell, we didn't tell Don Henley that we'd already talked to Glenn Fry. Smart man. <laughs> right? You were first, Don. <laughs> Absolutely. We're coming <laughs> to you first. And he said pretty much the same thing. So... We got those guys to agree to do the video, and we shot it. It was in December, right before Christmas, and we shot it in a little cantina in Los Angeles. And, I mean, most of the video, if you go back and look at it, most of it is, you know, us shooting pool or walking down an alleyway or just kind of hanging out in that bar. But at the end of the video, they had a bandstand set up and it, they had all the live amps and all the drum kits and everything set up. And they said, we want to get you guys playing the song, just, you know, pre playing, pretending like you're playing to the track. So all the amps were live. So I grab a guitar, and I go up and I start playing that opening lick for Rocky Mountain Way. Bam, da, bam, da, bam, da, bam, bam. 
And Joe Walsh and I ended up sharing the same microphone. And the first time that the Eagles had played together in 14 years, I got to be an Eagle for a day. And it was just a thrill. Unbelievable. That's the baddest ass thing ever. <laughs> See, you put them back together, man. Well, I don't know about then that. Then they went and toured after that. They did. They did. Actually, the Hell Freezes Over tour started the next, the following year. That's just so neat. Yeah. That is so cool.